So I'm here with Teddy, and today what we're going to do is we're going to go over come when called. All right, so I'm going to teach you a couple easy ways to start that. So come when called, super important. I always tell people I work with the most important command you can teach your dog, well, there's two of them. One is no, and the other one's come when called. All right, so when we do come when called, the first thing I want to do is I always want to start with luring them into the position, right? Because I want to get them going in the behavior. All right, so what I'm going to do is, hey, pupas, I'm going to lure him, you sit, I reward. Okay, so sometimes your pup's not going to follow you back. So what we're going to do is, come here, Teddy. I'm going to walk back, good boy, yes, good boy, good boy. And then I have him sit, yes, mark and reward. Okay, so we're lowering him, and at this point, <clears throat> I'm not going to give it a command. Okay, and I continue to do it. Come here, Puppus. I lower him. Come on. Nice. I stop. Yes. Reward. Okay, and when I do this, what it's going to do is I'm teaching him the behavior, all right? So we always want to get him doing the behavior first. Once he can do the behavior, then we start naming him, right? So now that I got him doing that, what I want to do is I'm going to put him in that sit position. I'm going to step a little bit further, and I'm going to do the physical cue so he can come to me. Here. Yes. Good. So he already knows that physical cue. So that really helps. <clears throat> and this is like the building blocks to it. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Just like that. Good boy, Papa. Good boy. I know. So fun. Oh, yep. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. We're going to go again. Now this time I'm going to take a couple steps further back. I'm going to wait. <clears throat> and he already knows the command. Um, so most of the time when I tell him to come, he'll pop into the uh, healing position. So I'm going to use a different command today. All right. Um, I'm going to try my, my uh, hand at a little bit of French and I'm going to use the French commands because he already does um, sit down in French, stand in French. And now we're going to try to come when called in French. Finish seat. Yes. Good. And so he's able to recognize what I want through the physical cue. That's why whenever we're doing this, we do the command, physical cue, they do the task that's asked of them, we mark, and then we reward. And each one of those is a separate section, okay? And super important. But that physical cue is really what assists them into doing the command of what's asked. So I'll say, been a seat. Yes. There we go. Good boy. Break. All right. So a lot of times, you know, we'll run into issues with the uh, come when called and it's like, well, man, why isn't my, uh, my pup coming to me? So there's two reasons, okay, that usually happen. One, all right, uh, you wake up early in the morning, right? You're doing your thing. You got your dog. You take him outside. You're doing your stuff. <clears throat> now it's time to come inside and you tell him to come. He doesn't come, right? What ends up happening is you start chasing your dog, turns into a game. And then finally, when you catch him, you're upset. So then you correct him and then you bring him in. So what did we just do? We just taught our pup that when they come to us, they're going to get corrected. So are they going to want to come? No. The second situation we run into and another mistake we make is we go through and we take our dog to the beach. She's loving life. Everything's great. Right. And it's time to go. And so I call him. He comes, we get in the truck and we're out. Now what ends up happening there after a couple of times of me doing that, He's going to recognize that pattern and he's not going to want to come to me anymore. Okay. He's not going to want to come because he knows if I come to play times over, we're going to get in the truck, we're leaving. So instead what you do there is we work with him and I'm going to call him. I'm going to recall him multiple times while we're working. Okay. And we're having fun, right? So I recall him, I'm going to play with him, and then I'm going to release him so he can go do his thing. I'm going to recall him. Right. And I keep doing this so that the predictability of when we're leaving like greatly reduces, okay? So that's what we wanna do, and those are the two common mistakes that happen, and that's gonna help you. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Teddy back, and I'm gonna put him in a nice sit front. So since I'm working the come when called, I'm trying to stay away from giving him the sit command or the down command. Now you will do it sometimes, and it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm trying to work away from that. Finish seat. Yes. Good, just like that, good boy. Now, <clears throat> another thing. Okay, that we can do to help with them coming to us, all right? Because every time they come to us, there should be a reward, all right? I work on their name, all right? So if I call his name and he looks at me, I usually say, I'll say F-R-E-E, -E, right? 
that marks him looking at me and then he knows to come get the reward so he'll come to me. So that's how he learns how to come to me with just calling his name. So he gets in the habit of coming to me then. He gets in the habit. Come here. He gets in the habit of coming to me when we do this backwards follow exercise. All right. And so now it just becomes almost instinctual where he's going to come to me. So I'll come through. I put him in a nice sit position right here. Finish seat. Yes. He anticipated a little bit there, but I think that I, uh, I did the physical cue, so that's why he uh, anticipated. But that's a quick, easy way for us to learn how to do come when called. If you got any questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe.